she was 10 years old, Kim Thuy and her family fled a war-torn Vietnam and came to Quebec to start a new life. These events inspired her to write her award-winning novel, Rue, which has since resonated with audiences all over the world. Well, it's a new film adaptation now, and it is a beautiful rendering of her experiences through the eyes of the main character, Tin. Take a look. Je te vois grandir. Devenir plus forte que ce que j'aurais pu imaginer. Et je crois que ta meilleure chance de pouvoir te sentir libre, c'est d'apprivoiser ta nouvelle existence ici. More about the film is the author of Rue and associate producer Kim Twee, and known for her hit shows Cardinal and the Traitors, Kareem Vanass. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, those images right? of the young actress playing Tin, she's Oof. so, she was perfect, aren't you? Yes, you she, and we got her at the right time. She yeah. was 10 when we, we filmed, and now today she's 13, she, you know, <laughs> yeah. she's no longer like that. Well, the movie is mm. absolutely stunning. It is beautifully cast. It's just a wonderful story. And uh, before we dive into the film, we just want to ask, you two have a really special connection. Oh, you actually no. met but way before this, and I understand that Karine was almost, which is kind of the inspiration behind the novel. Totally, tell, totally. Talk about that. Because we, she, uh, I had a restaurant, Karin was a customer basically, but yeah. we clicked right away and then well, one That day, was like 20 years ago. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when we were very young. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, it, yeah, and sometimes, yeah, it just clicked. You, you don't know why sometimes, but there's a connection automatically that... Yeah, and then rises. Karin went uh, on a trip to Bangkok. Yeah. came back with a notebook, gave it to me, and in there she wrote on the first page, she said, this is time for you to write, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for yourself or something like that. Not, not a book or anything, but for yourself. Mm -hmm. And then I started writing but from the back of the book because I didn't think that it was something. Mm. Uh, there were just notes. So you had grocery notes. On the first the page. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Things to do, you know, on yeah. the first page. Yeah. But then yeah. at the end, you know, at night when I went home at red lights, I would start writing right there. And then, uh, yeah, so, and the first person who had heard those words were... Uh, was Karin. So it's so bizarre 20 years uh, after to just be here talking about a movie. So t just the fact that this story that she was carrying became, you know, that successful mm -hmm. book that you were talking about mm -hmm. that people loved so much. To see it now being a film, to be, you, you know, to have a small and part in that you? film as well. But just no, but, uh, but an this important whole, part. Uh, but this whole journey of just, you know, sometimes you carry something and it's worth you know, offering putting out it. in the world. Yes. Yes. I mean, listen, when we talk about newcomers uh, to Canada especially, you know, it's easy to just see uh, people maybe just as statistics or numbers. Mm -hmm. And as we know that this is based off the book, yeah. and yet even though it is technically fiction, it, this is loosely based on your life and your experience as well. So what was it like for you to see the book come to life on screen? Uh, it's really a privilege, you know, to have the opportunity to go back because wh while you're living the event, you just tr go through the motion, right? And, and at 10, you don't have the capacity or the ability to identify your emotions. And especially, I didn't have enough words to identify them, right? So in those extreme circumstances, you don't feel anything. You, you just go numb. And so now, 40 years later, I have the chance to go back and live that emotion because the director, he's so good, Charles Olivier Michaud, to understand mm. the emotions that I was going through Ooh. when I was 10. And uh, yeah. I mean, the book is so special, it's, but the movie itself is a piece of art as well. Like, it's just, it's so, it's done with so much attention to details and, mm -hmm. but to feelings also, you were saying, but it's, it wasn't done from a distant uh, perspective mm -hmm. on her story. Like, yeah. there's so much involvement from the entire crew. Yes. You can feel that. Everybody mm -hmm. felt like it was a family, yeah. and that they were not just making a movie. Mm -hmm. it, it was like a passion of doing, you know, art at the same mm. time and telling a story. An important mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Kim, you have said in a previous interview that when you arrived in Canada for the first time with your family after this very long and difficult journey, despite feeling exhausted, you'd never felt more beautiful. 
Oh, yes, Tell because us. we arrived from, you know, a country at war, a country in chaos, and after that, a, a refugee camp, and then the long flight, right, to arrive here. And then all these people in Granby were waiting for us, and we were dirty from, you know, we had infections all over, but they did not hesitate for one second to hold us physically in their arms. Mm. And I still wonder how, you know, they could do that. And they looked at, at us as if we were treasures coming from the sky. And for, at that moment, you know, it, I gained back my humanity. And so the first time that mm. I saw myself again was not in a mirror, but in the, the way they looked at us. And I, I thought I, was, I had never seen myself as beautiful at that moment. And I've never seen myself as beautiful again, <laughs> right? Because they have given me back that humanity on mm. that fraction of a second. And then I became Canadian at that moment. I didn't wait for the paperwork. Who cares? <laughs> I, I was Canadian. You know what, Kim? It's, what a beautiful message. We don't, I wish we had more time, but I want to leave it on that message that mm -hmm. people gave you human, your humanity back mm -hmm. in that moment and welcoming you here. And I think that's a perfect And we have the power to, to do that. And we yes. have the power to do and continue to do that. Yes. Uh, Kareem, Kim, thank you. Thank you so much. We want to tell everybody that you can catch Rue at select theaters across the country this Friday, so make sure you can check it out online and find out where at a theater near you that it is playing. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.